Legends video game competition for multiple players is becoming more and more popular. The AFL even signed a joint venture to start a tournament earlier this week. Joining us now is Intel Vice President Shannon Pullen. Shannon, thanks for joining us. Put it in perspective, how big is esports right now? Yeah, it's phenomenal. It's, uh, it's growing incredibly well. It's the largest growing spectator sport. In 2017, there were about 385 million people that watched esports. We expect that by 2020, it's going to grow to over 500 million. Wow. We just had our Intel Extreme Masters event uh, here in Sydney. So it was great. You know, when we, we started these things like 12 years ago, and it was in a, a small room, you know, where you had a bunch of gamers together. Uh, this time, we had to rent out a stadium uh, out at the Olympic Park had over 22,000 people there and so many more watching online. So it's a tremendous growing opportunity. 22,000 people at one of these competitions and over 300 grand in prize money. It's extraordinary, but it's about to be revolutionized, isn't it? With the introduction of 5G mobile technology. How's that gonna change the future of esports? Yeah, if you think about 5G technology, and we're here in the Telstra uh, Innovation Center, when you think about that kind of technology, what you say is, I have gamers, and everybody's familiar with being at home and seeing people game on a PC, and that's a great experience right now. You want that same experience in a mobile environment. So what we're starting to see is we're starting to see 5G technology emerge, and people use that to do ultra-fast gaming. And the key here is like responding. Right, when you move your mouse, you want to make sure that you get a really quick response. So that's going to be key for people, and that's what 5G will be able to bring. Because that's the thing with esports, isn't it? Like, you've got the guys there playing, that's an esports e team. So they're in sort of teams of three or four. These guys are becoming rock stars around the world, are they? They travel first class, they sell out stadiums. It is massive, and it's all about their strategy and also the pace of the changes. Yeah, teams make millions of dollars. They're training constantly. You've got the guys here that are, that are playing the game that we've got for the first time we've demonstrated a live game over 5G, right? And, and it's one of the kind of things that you're seeing and as they move the technology, you know, there's no slowness in response. But yeah, these guys, you know, the, the Australian team did really well. And then you saw a number of the other teams globally at the Intel Extreme Masters event uh, here in Sydney. There are these setups where you get a couple of the kind of working events, one, two, three, four, and then you get the finals uh, that happen in Poland. And it's, it's unbelievable the number of people that yeah. are both showing up at the events and they're watching online and paying to watch online. Yeah, it's incredible. Shannon, it really is uh, taking the world by storm. So every parent that sees their kid playing games now, put them in an eSport team because of big money to be made. It's a good future. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Sam, yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you. Sam, it is extraordinary. That, um, that stadium they sold out 22,000 last weekend, um, apparently they had 5 million watching it live online around the world. Wowzers. There yep. you go, kids. Ignore your parents. Stay on your video <laughs> games. Oh, don't tell them I told you to do that. Well,